So, I forgot to clean the screen. Um, I'm just putting my shoes on as we're getting ready. But good morning, thank you so much for being here. We are going to end the week with a fantastic um, leg day routine. So, let me get my shoes on, stick with me. We're gonna have um, an amazing workout. We're gonna crush it, man. Let me fix this microphone. What's this one? Good morning. There we go. We just have to move this. Good morning, Jazzy. How are you? You ready to get started? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, my name is Sabrina. I do live workouts every single day. Monday through Friday right here on TikTok. I stream on YouTube as well. Hi, how are you? Good morning. We are going to um, do a leg routine today, so stick with me. It's gonna be an hour long, but um, I do these live workouts every single day, Monday through Friday, 8.30 Central Standard Time, so please pop in and come work out with me if you're available at this time. If not, you can do the workouts back on YouTube on your own time. There's over 100 workout videos posted there that you can do on your own time, so definitely check them out. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, I also wanna say, if you're just joining, please don't forget to like, share this live, go follow me, support the mission. We are getting fit. One workout at a time. Please go um, 360, I have to block that. I have to block that keyword. No, I will not be doing 360 because I'm not your puppet and it's also a little bit creepy. But anyways, um, good morning, Roland, Rolando. No offense to you, but um, good morning, Mama Nun, how are you? All right, let me get my shoes on and we're gonna get started, okay? We're gonna do a leg day. So as far as equipment that you need, you're gonna need a heavy set of dumbbells, a lighter set of dumbbells, a bench or a step, and you will also need some booty bands, okay? So let me know if you have any questions as far as equipment that we need. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, that's all the equipment that you'll need, but remember, if you don't have any of that equipment, we can always modify, so you can do, theoretically, do this workout completely body weight if you need to. I'll show you modifications for everything. Um, please go follow my YouTube channel, and then give me a follow here. Don't forget to like. We're trying to hit 10K likes if we do. We're ringing that bell, baby. I gotta find it. We'll be ringing the bell if we hit 10K today, okay? Get to tapping. Butters is upstairs. I will bring him down before the end of the workout so you guys can see him, but he just, he, he, um, he's just kind of like resting. But um, yeah, I'll let you see him because we're gonna take his bandage off today. He looks so cute. Of course, he's got the cone on and his arm is all bandaged up. But if you're just joining, I know there's a few more people in here. My, my name is Sabrina. I do live workouts every single day, Monday through Friday. I've been streaming live workouts ever since the pandemic hit. I um, was working out at the gym and then the gyms closed and I decided to work out from home and I've been doing that for going on, I think it's five years. I have to check my math, but I'm pretty sure it's going on five years now. At the end of this year, it'll be five years. Um, but we've been streaming workouts from home and it's been amazing. So if you're trying to lose weight, build strength, just become a better version of yourself. I know that's so cliche to say, but for real, if you are, um, I am a certified nutrition coach. Ah, oh, thank you. I got my hair done yesterday. I slept on it, so it's a little wavy here, but uh, we're like trying to look cute. <laughs> thank you so much, Ramanan. I appreciate you. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, you can work out from home and you can um, hit some pretty amazing goals. And one of those being like, if you wanna get in the best shape of your life, you can do that from home. I know it might seem like unachievable or something that's like unattainable, but you can do it. And I know because I did it myself. So don't feel like you can't get a great workout at home because you can, or else I wouldn't be sitting here wasting my time doing it every single day, right? And for those of you who ask like, damn, what workouts do you do? The workouts that I do are the workouts that you see and I do with you live, right? I totally forgot to put the other on. Uh, that's okay. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with some stretches, and then we'll get into glute activation. Then we'll go do our long band kickbacks, and then we'll get started. Who's ready? You guys ready? Thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to follow here on this TikTok channel, and then go follow me on Instagram as well. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers within the quickness, right? Um, but over there you can expect nutrition content and then all of the workouts that we do here. Um, that's about it. Let's get started, okay? So, you're going to want to come to the center of your mat. I was on my phone earlier this morning. I 
was foaming. I was rolling. All right, Benny Boo. All right, let's get onto your mat, the center of your mat, okay? Let me move this up so YouTube, you guys, my head's not cut off. All right, there we go. This is Benny. He has glaucoma, and he's probably going to get his eye removed. So there's that. <laughs> All right, we're going to come to the middle of our mat. Swing that left leg front to back. seems a little hard for you, grab a chair or go next to a table and swing that leg. We are just activating the muscles in our leg, getting the blood flowing, getting them nice and warmed up because we are going to be focusing on our legs for the entire workout. Yeah? We're going to give you some hip openers, you guys. So come to the center of your mat and we're going to come up. Whoa! And open. Up and open. Open up that hip, yeah? I don't know where my son took my bell. Okay, right leg. We're gonna go into a yogi pose next. I am so bloated, you guys, so don't even say anything. Okay, we're gonna come here. Hands in between your knees. And we're gonna rock side to side. If this looks way too difficult for you, I have a modification. So don't worry, I got you. But we want to get that ankle mobility, that hip mobility, that knee mobility. So we're rocking side to side. Everybody else? Ooh. Okay, we're going to come up. And you're going to come on your mat. This is a modified version of our... You're going to twist your back, yeah? That feels so good. Other side. And then you're going to be on your mat and you're going to rock. Lean with it, rock with it. I don't know why I always say that. But again, you want that ankle mobility, that hip mobility, that knee mobility, yeah? All right, grab a mom or grab a knee hand. Oh, there's my son. I have to go get my son. He's awake. I will be right back, okay? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you for the subscription and goal nap. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the roses. Ah! Thanks for the eight roses. Thank you, I appreciate it so much. Shelly, thanks for the follow. Jose, um, thanks for being here, you guys. Tracy, good morning. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? is watch you can still work you can hear me okay you can hear me okay Ralph you have um, headphones on or something what's going on 
Oh my gosh, Schmirk, hi again. And um, Neff, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Thanks for the roses. That was so sweet. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Jazzy can hear me. Okay, reboot. And um, we're going to go do our lateral band of walks. We're going to do four of these. There and back is going to count as one. You are really going to feel these in your upper outer glutes, okay? So band on. I'm going to flip mine out just so it doesn't mess up my pants. And we're here, okay? Let me show you. We're here. You're gonna bend your knees, you're not going into a full squat. You're right about here. Then you step across and you come together. Across, come to mat together. Make sure you step wide enough across so that band is tight, yeah? So we're here and here, okay? Let's go, we're gonna do these four times. Let's do it, I'm starting my watch now. So when we come back, that will be one. What's the matter, Google? This is one, yeah? Let's go to two. Let's go. okay is um is Ralph back I hope you are Ralph um okay so we're gonna put this band on on our knees again so these first exercises are glute activation they're firing up our glutes right you're here okay what was that I'm just curious that's weird okay um some water yeah get some water and then um Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do a fire hydrant to a kick out, okay? This is gonna isolate and target our glutes, specifically our upper outer glutes. Make sure you're not sloppy with the kick. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, let's go do 
side, okay? So again, neutral back, neutral spine. We're isolating our glutes, so I really want you to have that muscle-mind connection and think about your glutes, okay? That's what you should be doing. Making sure the, like, the kick is not sloppy and you're really extending that band on the, uh, on the fire hydrant, which is the hip abduction here. So we go all the way to the top, so the band is all the way open, and then we kick out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Yeah, I told my hairdresser, I don't know if she's on, hey girl, I love my hair. I was like, I just want it to be super subtle. I don't want it to be anything drastic because I don't want to go like super blonde. But um, I like having the highlights, but I also don't like them when they're super like, you know like when you get highlights and then it's like platinum blonde, I don't like that. So I had her go over with like a toner to make it like a little darker, not so like crazy. Thank you Simply Alley. I love my hairdresser. <laughs> I, the last time I got my hair done was my birthday, which was February 16th. So that's how long I went before seeing her again, which is what I like because I'm very like, I like to be low maintenance with my hair. I don't want to have to go there every three, six weeks and do my hair. I don't like that. So the way that we do my hair, I can go like four or five months without having to see her again. She's like, I was like, did you think I found somebody else? I'm like, no, 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 it's just a good thing. My hair's been actually growing since I haven't been like bleaching it so much and stuff like that. So it's good stuff. Oh, thank you so much. I love your hair too and your picture. <laughs> I wish I could see you guys live. That'd be so fun. All right, my wife started the car and my phone connected to it. Oh, God, gotta love Bluetooth. Oh my gosh, tell your wife I said hi. Okay, so let's go do two more sets of this, okay? And then we're gonna get going and really like just go hard, okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go straight into the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. ready for these long band kickbacks, okay? We're doing four sets of 10. At the end of the last two, we are going to pulse, okay?
So for these next two, you guys, you're feeling good? Yay! Okay, so for these next two, after the end of the 10th rep, you're gonna stay there and you're gonna pulse. So it's essentially just a kickback, but we're going fast paced, okay? So we're gonna bump up the tempo. Um, ooh, you're gonna feel it, we're at 4.9. Yay, good job, guys. Let me see where that bell is at. I went to go get my hair done, I was gone for like four hours, it was so nice. I was like falling asleep in the chair though. <laughs> I was like, then I came home and made, um, I was going to do baked, um, oh my god, stuffed shells, but it was like not like, they were like vegetarian, um, so it was like Brussels sprouts and feta cheese and spinach, oh, so good, um, but I didn't have, I couldn't find stuffed shells at the grocery store, so I got regular shells and then I just made it like a casserole and it was so good, it was so good. Okay, so... Grocery store yesterday, she's like, What would you call like your diet? And I was like, 
Well, it's not really a diet. It's just eating whole foods, like just eating clean and just eating whole foods. I was like, just a lot of fruits and vegetables, like, and a lot of vegetables. Um, and just trying not to eat as many, like, not things from a box, right? Like trying to just eat a lot of vegetables. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. That, that's what it is. Uh, um, it's so funny because she carded me because I bought some beer for my hubby um, for this weekend. And she's like, I'm so sorry, I have to card you. And I'm like, are you kidding me? No. I was like, I get offended if you don't card me now that I'm in my 30s. But like in my 20s, I used to be so offended. Like, oh, this is such a waste of time. Like, duh, I'm old enough. And like now when I don't get carded, I'm like, oh, they think I'm old. Like, they don't need to card me. So I'm like, no, please card me. That means you think I'm like underage. <laughs> so, I don't know. I thought that was funny. Okay, anyways, beer is so expensive. Yeah. yeah. I won't be drinking beer if I drink it this weekend. It will be wine. Yeah. Yeah. No more beer for me for a while. Okay, so. <sighs> what are we doing? Oh, we're done with that. So, we're done with our bands. Let's go do our deficit reverse lunges, yeah? Can we do that combo? We're gonna do the superset where we do the deficit reverse lunges, but I wanna switch it up just a little bit. Here's what we're gonna do, and this might be challenging. If so, I want you to just modify the reps if it's too hard for you, but we're basically gonna go do 10 on one leg, and then we're gonna alternate. We're gonna do 10 alternating. Oh, what did I do? Hold on. I open the top. Jump rope. <laughs> oh, I just. Okay. So, we're gonna do. I'll show you, don't worry. I grabbed the wrong thing. So, it's gonna look like this, okay? Remember, use your form check for our deficit reverse lunges. I have to bump the camera up because YouTube, my head is like cut off. So, let's see if we can go like that, maybe. You guys on one tripod, so we're just trying that out for a little bit. Anyways, we're here. We're gonna lean forward to target the glutes. If you don't want to target the glutes, you want to target more your quads, and your hamstrings. You're gonna stay straight up and down. So, anyways, we're here. We're gonna put our heel, our dominant heel, on the bench. We're gonna drive up and tap, and then come back down. Tap. When you're coming up and tapping. That foot is, James, please don't break that. That foot is just like, you're not putting any weight on this foot, okay? So you're just here and here. So we're gonna isolate one leg and do 10. Then we're gonna drop, um, you can drop your weight or you can stack it at the collarbone and we're gonna go alternate and do 10. Okay, so that'll be our superset. Any questions? Jimmy, come here, let me address you. Where you at? James. Okay, come here, baby. Put your shoes on. Let me put but it's like not the best and I'm like I'd rather not have him walking around with doo-doo okay <laughs> mom stuff <laughs> very exciting <laughs> okay going to a meeting have an amazing weekend everyone keep tapping yes Ralph all right let's go let's do this <sighs> let's go one two 
so bad. Uh, I was like telling my hairstylist, so she's like, yeah, and try not to use heat, try not to let it air dry. I'm like, all I do is wear my hair in the ponytail <laughs> like for the last three months. I don't know the last time I've worn my hair down. So I'm kind of like, let me wear it down for today or tonight, just today. Um, so I don't want to throw it up in a ponytail because then I'll get all messed up but I'm so hot. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm going to Austin to my sister. It's right after this workout. Probably not right, right after. I mean, I watered my plants all this morning. I gotta go water the front. Then I gotta just make sure my son has like an outfit for tomorrow or else my husband will dress him crazy. And then I just wanna like clean up a little bit. I have some dishes to do and I wanna like sweep up the living room just so it's nice and clean before I leave. Um, but yeah, all right, let's go do the left leg. Because when you have dogs, you have to sweep like every single day. <laughs> let's go, left leg. Remember, we're going slow and control. Make sure you have a reset. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Okay, so we're gonna stack it on our collarbone if you want to. We're gonna go do alternating deficit reverse on this, okay?
5.9, you guys. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. How you guys feeling, okay? My cousin is named after Austin, Texas. Oh, really? Yay. Austin. Okay, let's go do this two more times, okay? I'm also supposed to get dirt today. So I'm kind of like, crap, the place is closed on the weekend, so I don't know if I should like do it real quick, but that's gonna be like a whole thing, so I don't know. Or was he made in Austin, Texas? Those, those are two totally different things, Tracy. All right, let's go. Thank you for the likes, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, Subscribe on YouTube if you're watching me live on YouTube, and don't forget to follow me on TikTok, and then go follow me on YouTube, okay? All right. Right leg, we're gonna do 10, then we're gonna reset, stack at our collarbone, and do 10 alternating, okay? Let's go. One. because he, the Texas heat is like brutal and there's no way we can work out outside even at this time. Let me see what the temperature is. Heat advisory, whoa, that's fun. It's 82 right now and there's a heat advisory. Let's see what it says. Severe weather alert, heat advisory, minor, minor. Minimal to no threat to life or property. It's in effect until 8 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. Sunday, oh my gosh. Heat values up to 114 expected portions of South Central Texas, so. I always say this, cause like, I live in Chicago. Ooh, let me not say Chicago. Cause when I say that and then I meet someone in Chicago, like that's not Chicago. But I say that because nobody knows. When I lived in the Chicagoland area, suburbs of Chicago, like 30 minutes outside of Chicago, um, the weather was really extreme as far as like cold, like it was it would snow all the time. You know Tracy, freezing, freezing, like six out of the six months out of the year cold. So I tell everybody from up there, I'm like, well, we have our own extreme temperatures, but it's just not as long. It's like dog days of summer, which would be like June, July, August, kind of some portions of September, but like our pool's open till like October. And I love that. So but like up north, you, the seasons are so short. Like you have summer for like, what, two months? Like even my friend Oscar was like, yeah, it was really cold this morning. He's like, it was really chilly like yesterday or the day before. He's like, it was like in the 50s or something. I'm like, what? It's crazy. It's not cheap to have a pool open that long. Well, we use it. <laughs> we get our use out of it. Um, but you're right, no, it's not cheap. Um, my neighbor drains his pool, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe we should do that. I don't know, we, we don't. Um, but anyways, we have our extreme temperatures. So that's why we're working out inside. So the nice thing is, 
probably like September, maybe end of September, October, we'll go back outside. And we'll be outside September, October, November, December, maybe January, but we'll be February to be a little cold to be like hit or miss. And then like March, so, and then we'll, so we're inside like probably end of January, February, maybe a little bit of March, but end of March we go back outside, March, April, May, but this May it was like, whoa, it was so hot, we had to come inside. Chicago does have the seasons, but I'm good. Like I would rather have, I don't know, everyone has their own opinion. I, I've seen the cold, I had to walk through the cold, through the snow, at, like, when I went to NIU, those were some of the most brutal, like, days of how cold it was, walking, like, in between the buildings from the parking lot to the car. And I'm like, yeah, I've been there, done that. I don't really ever need to see snow again. I don't really care. I'm good. I lived that life for, like, seven years, and I am good. But guess what? We're going right back to that. Woo-hoo! You tell how excited I am? <laughs> you prefer the heat? Me too. Me too. Like, okay... So, okay, so I, obviously I'm a southern girl, I'm a like Texas girl, but um, yeah, the season, like the colors changing, that's nice, it's nice, but I also like to be like in my pool in October, and I also like to grow vegetables and have plants year round, like herbs year round, right? I can garden pretty much year round. Um, shoveling snow, yeah, no, it's for the birds. Okay, so anyways, I love you, Tracy. I know you, I know, I know you love your mother up there. Don't worry, I'll be up there soon. <laughs> All right, so let's go do our left leg. Sorry, I'm talking too much. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, lean forward if you want to target those. into like regular hip thrust. You guys cool with that? You just have 15 more minutes. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Let's go do um, some deficit reverse lunges. So I'm gonna bump up my bench. If you have like stairs, a step will work just fine. I'm gonna show you the form check for these. We are going to do a super set with these, okay? So we'll do 10 with the weight, then we're gonna drop it, and we're gonna do 10 body weight, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. Drive up from our heel. Making sure we don't lock out that leg. 
making sure we don't lock out that leg. We're gonna do 10, yeah? So, ah, 10 with the weight. Let me move this back. So 10 with the weight in our hand. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the 10. We're gonna drop the weight, excuse me. And then we're gonna go do 10 more without weights. Be down. We can do it. We can do it. I know we can. So let's do it. We're gonna start with our left leg, yeah? So toes face down. You're gonna make sure that when you stop, Bring that weight right where your heel was, and that's going to be your place marker so that you don't have to keep sitting and doing the bench. Ready? Let's go. Drive up from the heel. One, two, your core is on. Three, four, five. Make sure you maintain the integrity of your form, yeah? So toe on the bench, drive up through your heel, shoulders back, chest up, make sure your knee doesn't go past your toe, and just making sure that you're driving up through the heel. We're at 7.7, .7, okay? Woohoo! Thank you for the subscriptions, you guys. That's so awesome. Okay, we have to do this one more time, okay? Um, yeah, exactly. Ooh, let's go again, okay? Uh, get some water, by the way. Good morning, by the way, Simply Allie. I think Jesse's here. Ralph, Tracy, woo -hoo. I think I saw Schmirk in here. I, I'm pretty sure Yosh is here. Hi, Yosh. James. Mm, Jesse is here. El Pollo, Mom of None. Ralph, Tracy, and who was that person that subscribed? What was his name? Oh, it's Smirk. Hi, Smirk. And then, um, Neff. Thanks, Neff. Appreciate ya. All right, let's do this, you guys. We're gonna, um, we're gonna go do that all one more time. So, we have our weight already here as a place marker. 
we put our heel on the weight, our right toe on the bench. Make sure that you don't lock out that leg at the top. You want to slight bend the leg, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Make sure your core is on. Six, seven, eight. Drive up from the heel.
And usually when I'm with my sister, we always have a good time. So, so, um, but we're not gonna do anything crazy. I think we're just gonna be swimming in our pool, like nothing crazy. But yeah, I think it's very important. And like I told you guys, I'm burnt the F out. So I need to reset. So, and I didn't think I was gonna follow through with this because I always say I'm gonna do this and then I never do because I'm like, oh, family time and let's like, let's go to SeaWorld together and this and that. But it's like, um, I think it's important for you to be like schedule it in. I was talking to my therapist and she's like, so what are you gonna do to make sure you follow through? <laughs> like, I'm like, how about, I'm gonna text my sister right now and after our meeting and tell her that like I'm on my way and I'm coming. She's like, yeah, and you can pack your bag. You can let your husband know, let your son know, like prepare as much as possible so that like you follow through with it. So, so I did that. I text my sister. I didn't pack my bag for her to do that, but I did text her and let her know we were coming. So I'm just really proud of myself for following through because I normally never do. And, and I need it, I need it, I need it. Is that Butters? No, that's Ramona. Water is great, H2O, H2O, yeah. So we're done with these, you guys. We're gonna go do hip thrust next. Wow, how are we almost done? Okay, let's go do hip thrust, and then if you guys wanna keep going, I'm so fine with that, because I kinda wanna do like some, a little bit of hit stuff if you guys want to. If not, that's cool too, but um, let's go do some hip thrust, okay? We're gonna do a single leg into, I wanna do a lot of single leg. Um, how are you guys feeling? No, how is he? Is he better? Is he doing okay? I'm gonna, before we get off, I want you guys to see him because we're gonna take his bandage off. So I'll bring him down here. Jump squats. Woo! We can do that. Let's go do some hip thrusts though because we haven't done hip thrusts this week. So we're gonna do a single leg into, uh, cas or sorry, single leg into, oh, hi, Jojo. I'm down, I missed some days. Okay, cool. Um, sorry, we're gonna do a single leg for 10. Then we're gonna do regular hip thrust for 10. Then we're gonna do calves glute bridges for 10. Okay, I need to stop, because then I was gonna be like, and then hold for 10, but we won't do that. We'll do single leg, calves, sorry, single leg, regular, and then calves. Is that cool? And I'll show you what it looks like. I gotta go now, see you guys on Monday. I'll see you Monday, uh, Sibley Alley, have a fantastic weekend. I'm so proud of you for showing up and like putting in the work, so good job. Please make sure you take the time to be in the moment and like be like, damn, I did the damn thing this week. I'm so proud of myself and I'm gonna prove to myself that I can stay consistent, yeah? I know you can do it. I know you have it in here. So um, enjoy your weekend. Make good choices this weekend, right? But it's all about balance, but just, um, yeah, I'll see you Monday. Have a great day, okay? Okay, so let's do this. So grab.
pants back up after you're like sweaty. Woo! Okay. Yes, I did wash my hands. All right, you guys wanna keep going? We're at 9.1. This bell is ready to rock and roll. We hit the bell and we hit 10K, yeah? We're at 9.2. Again, if you're just joining, hi, my name's Sabrina. I do live workouts every single day, Monday through Friday, right here on TikTok. I stream on YouTube as well. I've been streaming live workouts for four years now, and I love it. So we've been streaming live workouts for four years, and we specialize in just home workouts, right? We get it. We lose weight. Um, oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. I just got my hair done yesterday, so I'm feeling myself. I haven't worn my hair down in like three months. So I was like, let me wear my hair down for this workout. But I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Um, but yeah, we do live workouts. Um, if you can't meet live with me at this time, all the workouts are posted on YouTube. So you can check out the workouts there on your own time. Um, but again, I'm here Monday through Friday, 8.30 Central Standard Time. The workouts are an hour long. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do leg workouts. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do upper body and core. And every single day, we give it 110. These are like, in my opinion, really great workouts. I think they're effective. Tracy's been with me for three years. Um, it looks like a Chia Pet. Tracy's been with me for three years, so if you want have any questions about the workouts and what we do and if they're effective and if they're great, talk to Tracy, she'll let you know. Um, this is your song. Okay, let's go do something. What do we wanna do? Somebody said jump squats. Do you wanna do jump squats? <clears throat> a mom of none, are you still here? James, you're here. Okay, let's go do squat jacks into jump squats. Is that cool? Everybody cool with that? Um, I'm trying to think what we did on Wednesday. My exercise ring just closed. But we're not done yet. <laughs> All right, let's go. So you can do with the weight, without the weight for these. Clear your bench off.
That was intense. Okay, we have to do that two more times. Refresh, refresh, reset. Get some water. And then I think what we're gonna do next, you guys, is we're gonna go do, if you guys are okay with it, we're gonna do a seesaw lunge into a jump lunge, and then we're gonna end with our finisher. Is that too much? Are you guys okay with that? We're not gonna do four sets of all of them, just two. Two, two, and two. Are you guys cool with that? And then court, no core, James. Because if we vote, I think everyone will say no. Did your deodorant come in by the way? No, I didn't. I have to check on it. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Before you go, drink Mexican martini with your sister. What is that? You sweat with the jump squats? Yeah, who doesn't, right? Let's go do two more rounds. We're not done though. Don't think after this we're done, because we're not, okay? Yes! Like the, like the monkey. Just kidding. Okay, chill, Sabrina. All right, let's go. Two more rounds. Saw lunge with step out squats. Is that cool? We'll do 10 and 10. Should be pretty chill, I think. Let me show you. Get some water. Let me get some water because that was crazy. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Seesaw lunge. Stacked at your collarbone, yeah? We come here. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. We come forward to a forward lunge. And then we go all the way back into a reverse lunge. So it's forward lunge, reverse lunge for 10. We'll do two sets and we'll break them up with step out squats. So step out squats are the modified version of a jump squat or a jack squat. You're just 
here, okay? So don't be fooled. You're in a squat, you never come up. That's why it's so difficult. We step out, together, out, together. You guys ready? We're gonna do two sets, okay? We can do it, two sets, nothing, it's nothing. Let's start with the step out squats, okay? Remember, you do not come up. Stack your collarbone, you don't have to use the weight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh, my mat slipped a little bit. Holy crap. Okay. Straight into a seesaw lunge on our right leg. We're going to stack this weight. You don't have to have one. You could even do two by your sides if you want, so you have options. Two by your sides, none, one at your collarbone. One, two, three, come on, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, just breathe. Last one. Why my quads are on fire? things I'm trying to work on so we said it so we have to do it okay oh my god this one is so bad stretching is so important please stick around yeah I can't even think right now oh my god, 
Even the music's like, you're done. The music stopped. What are you doing? <laughs> no, we're not. We're not done. Why am I so weird? <laughs> Talk to myself. Oh, you're sweating. Me too. Oh, well, you're funny and cute and contagious at the same time. The way you tap the bell. Yeah, that's my little, like, yeah, I got to make it fun for you guys. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, so sweating my booty off. Frozen. Were we frozen? So now, remember how I told you guys you were listening to the Moana soundtrack? Ugh, man, I kind of want to do like Moana skits. You guys know I love theater and stuff like that. I'm like, I could sing, what song? I could sing all of them. Um, but now we're on Frozen soundtrack in the car. And so like whatever soundtrack we're on, he plays it on repeat the movie. So, so now we're on a story. So if you're into that kind of stuff. But anyways, um, let's go finish the finisher. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Oh my God. So we're going to do a reverse lunge into a curtsy lunge. And your reverse lunge is like this, right? This is a reverse lunge. Then we come back. Wait, no, no, we don't come back. We go into a reverse lunge, straight into a curtsy. But look at my curtsy. My leg is not out here. We're not bowling. We're not doing anything crazy. Your feet stay on the mat. So reverse lunge, curtsy is just behind this leg, okay? Just so we get enough of a stretch on that glute. Um, that's what it is, okay? So, I can't talk anymore. It's gonna be a reverse lunge into a curtsy lunge, and you're gonna do that 10 times. You don't stop. It's just one, one, two, two, three, three, okay? And we're gonna use, I'm gonna use a weight stacked at my collarbone. You can do two by your sides. Usually we do two by our sides. We're, we're, we're extra credit right here, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so we're going to do 10. Drop your weight, and I want you to try to shoot for five more. Once you hit five, if you're like, okay, I can do five more, then go to 10. Those are all body weight. Do you understand what I'm saying? So 10 with the weight at your collarbone. Drop your weight, then go do 10 more body weight, or five. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Okay, is everybody ready? We ready? do this. We don't have any music, but that's okay. We're still going to get it. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are brutal. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, mother. Okay, five more, just five, just five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna shoot for five more. One, two, three. We are not taking any callers at the moment, so the request line is closed. We're breaking new barriers. Okay, let's go try to do the other leg, okay? Try to do the other leg. Do whatever hype talk you need to, to no wonder it burns. I'm telling you, these are fire. Okay, we're gonna go do what leg did we just do? We just did 
to the right leg. So we're going to go to the left leg, yeah? Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, we got this. This is me just talking to myself. Like, Sabrina, you got this. You're strong. You can do this. This is easy. It's your last exercise. This, that's what I'm doing when you see me, like, shaking my head. <laughs> I'm just hyping myself up. I got to be my, my biggest cheerleader. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Make sure you're coming, driving up from that heel. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Forgot you won't forget. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Okay, well, I'm glad you won't forget it. It's good, huh? Okay, so let's go stretch. Yeah? Time to stretch. Did anybody do that with me? Be honest. Your workout shirt is drenched? Yes. We love it. I'm 5'4. I'm a shorty baby. Um, it was good. Oh, okay, I'm so glad you guys were actually doing it with me because I thought I was totally doing it by myself. Yay, Jesse did it, Mom and Nun did it, James did it. Yay, I'm so proud of you guys. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Oh, I freaking love you guys so much. Please don't forget to stretch, okay? Let's do some quick stretches, even if you can only stay for two. I'll do the two best ones that I think are gonna stretch out our legs the most. Let's go into a runner's lunge, okay? Um, I'm so proud of you guys. Yay, my little babies. I'm so proud you did that with me. We'll try to make sure we do the finisher and make it more of like a consistent thing because that one is fire. It's so good. And I always forget about curtsy lunges. We got to do curtsy lunges. They're so good, okay? Okay, let's go stretch. Oh, what do we say? Instead of jump squats, I squatted instead of lunges. I squatted. Okay, cool. Remember, instead of the lunges, you can do, um, you can do a reverse lunge, a pulsing reverse lunge. So you could just come here, right? All right, let's go do our runner's lunge. So I'm done, man. <laughs> you're gonna go into a runner's lunge, but you're gonna really overextend that leg. James, I'm so glad your workout shirt is drenched. I'm drenched too, man. I'm, so, I'm like, I'm like trying to save my hair, but it's like so sweaty. It's gross. Okay, so um, we're here. We're gonna really extend that leg forward and drop that hip to the mat. And then I want you to make sure your knees are on the mat. You always wanna protect your knees, okay? Especially when you're doing like, stuff like this where you're putting a lot of weight. Um, and then we're just gonna rock front to back. Really move that leg. And then stay here for a second. But before we do the heel toe stretch, just stay here. And then we're gonna kick the heel up. I want the heel all the way to the sky. And you're gonna come down and try to touch that toe. Ooh. You're gonna feel that all the way up your calf, all the way up your hamstring, into your glutes. 
Oh, okay. Can we just come back to our lunge? I forgot. Let's, let's stretch back. The roof of my mouth is just a mess. I ate a hot potato. <laughs> we had baked potatoes, and I was so hungry, and I like just, just like burned the top of my mouth, and it sucks. Okay, so anyways, um, we're done with that leg. Let's go to the other one, yeah? So come into a runner's lunge. Really extend that hip down. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Remember, Mondays and Fridays we go like, we go 100 every day, but Mondays and Fridays we go hard. We have to start the week strong, and we have to end the week strong. Enough to where you're thinking about it over the weekend like, damn, I want more. And that way Monday you're fired up. That's the goal, right? For Monday or throughout the weekend, you're resting, right? but that you're fired up about getting a workout in on Monday. That's, that's the mindset and the headspace that we want to be in, okay? That way you're not like, oh, it's Monday. I have to go work out. Uh, I'm not like that. I'm like, yes, it's Monday. I'm, I had two days off. I miss it. I can't wait. Heel toe stretch, and I'm fired up. I'm ready, which is why I usually, if I do drink, this doesn't always happen, but if I do drink, I try to drink on Fridays. So... I'll be drinking today. <laughs> um, that way I can just get it out of my system and it's not like I'm not feeling it like on Monday, you know? So I will be drinking today. Um, do you eat something before you work out all the time or do you sometimes drink a shake? I eat breakfast before I work out and then I drink a shake afterwards. So like shakes, ooh. Ew, that was a weird freeze. Erase that from your memory. That was so ugly. Um, <laughs> that was not good. Uh, if I drink a shake before I work out, I'm really bloated. And I'm already bloated, so like I'll, I'll look like pregnant. It's a mess. So I just eat. I try to eat like, an, like t two hours to an hour before. Um, and then I work out, and then I have a shake. Yeah, that was so... I was like, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, now... You have a difficult time trying to eat. Yeah, it's been hard, but it's fine. It's a minor inconvenience. Okay, you guys have, you drink beets. I freaking love beets. I haven't tried beet juice, but I heard it's really good for you. I would be open to it, but um, I don't really juice too often. I did do celery juice like a couple weeks ago. I just like wanted to try it because everyone was like ranting and raving about it. And I was like, okay. I know celery is really good for you, um, but no, I haven't tried beet juice, but I'll tell you what, I love beets so much. They're so freaking good. I can't wait to grow beets. I'm going to be growing beets in my garden for sure, like a lot of them, and carrots and turnips, and like I'm so excited for winter gardening. I'm like, I can't even contain the excitement. You guys are going to be like, shut up. We don't care, and then I'll be like, really? I have so much. I want to send you some, so all y'all that were talking shit, you're not going to get any veggies. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot. I don't know. I've never done it, so we'll see, but I have been gardening for a long-ass time, but I've never done winter gardening, so I'm so and I feel like I'm going to be really prepared for it because I've been doing a lot of research and now I've got like some planters that are very, very deep, deep enough that I can do root vegetables. So I'm pretty excited about that. You'll take the free veggies. When will you put a live up of you drinking with your sister? <laughs> That's so funny. Knock, knock, UPS deliver in the garden box. I can't wait, Tracy. I'm so excited. Remember, you don't have to do that, okay? But if you want to. I'll take a garden box any day of the week. Um, my sister's like sometimes weird. I'll see if she wants to go live. Um, but we'll do some TikToks or something. I'll see if we can do a live when we're drinking. Is that weird? Would that be boring? What's the garden box? Oh, Tracy has garden boxes and she, I think she's going to send me one, hopefully. I mean, you don't have to, but I would be so honored. And I promise I would take care of it and... Um, do some pretty amazing things yeah um uh it's not weird oh for a ladies night oh that wouldn't be weird okay so i'll see if my sister is down and we'll go live we'll do something i'll figure it out but if i act stupid don't judge me i'm just having a good time okay because i get really dumb when i drink I'm like yeah let's go <laughs> Let's do a flip into the pool, like just stupid stuff. Like, 
if I don't have my son with me, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> My sister, if she's out, as outgoing as me, she's complete opposite of me, okay? So if you think she looks like me, she doesn't. And she's also, like, full of tattoos. And she's, I don't know what color hair she has now, but, like, she, her hair is always, like, purple, green, blue, pink. And she's got tattoos from, like, here to, like, everywhere. She doesn't have any face tattoos yet. I don't know. You love her? Yeah, Uber. Well, we're not going anywhere, I don't think. But I'll bring a cute little outfit just in case we do go somewhere. But um, I think we're just going to hang out at her house because I just want to relax. But let's go do our two deep breaths, you guys. At the end of our workouts, I like to do two deep breaths just to practice gratitude. I'm so grateful for you guys being here with me today. I'm actually really grateful that you guys did those last couple of workouts with me. That was all extra credit. And you guys, you guys were up for the challenge. So I'm so proud of you. Um, and I'm grateful that you guys are here continuing to show up. It shows that you actually are taking action, right? About changing your circumstances. It's one thing to like, there's a quote and I don't even know what it is. I'm going to butcher it, but I'm going to, I'm going to like, I'm going to paraphrase it. It essentially says like, there's one thing to like read and have knowledge and to learn or to want to do something. And then it's another to like, know all that information and not take action right that's even worse right better to just not even know it at all versus to know it and then not take action so you guys are taking action right and that is a beautiful thing you should be so freaking proud of yourself i'm proud of you if nobody's told you that and if you don't have any social support you do right here and this is such a key piece to like being consistent if you're on a fitness journey you're working out or you're working towards being healthier it's important to have that social aspect of it so if you don't have that in your life right now or you don't have somebody that's supporting you that's what this is okay and that is such a crucial part of it and a lot of times people who have failed on their journeys to exercise or to eating better sometimes a lot of the times it's because they lack social support so it's good to tell people what your goals are and to tell people what you're doing and to have that partner that wants to like help you meal prep or and when I say meal prep I don't mean like the boxes and everything like that I mean like hey let's like cook a meal that we can have for three days or like let's make a big old thing of like lentils or rice or bean black beans and we can have it throughout the day with our meals or hey let, let's go to the gym together you know like stuff like that so of course I want you to be here with me like that's ideal right but I still want you to make sure um if, if you're not that's fine go to the gym do whatever you gotta do the, the basically what I'm trying to say is having social support is good right and by social support it means having like a friend that's working out with you somebody who's encouraging you who's empathetic somebody who's who's loving you who's encouraging you who's motivating you who's pushing you and also holding you accountable too right um thank you for the follow um lucky I appreciate it a boy was like send that garden box to her I actually have um I actually have some planters I think I posted a video yesterday didn't I I have some planters I have three of them and those are the ones that are like super super deep but they're like two and a half almost three feet so I can do pumpkins I can do watermelons I can do which we're actually growing pumpkins and watermelons um uh, we're growing our own pumpkins for Halloween I'm so excited I've never done this word I'm so stoked it's gonna be a lot of fun um, but you, I can do like root vegetables, which are really deep. So that'd be nice too. All right, guys, unless you have any other, anything else for me, um, I can send you my address again for sure. Um, oh, you need my actual address. Can I not send it to the PO box? It doesn't matter. If you need my address, I'll give it to you, Tracy. Um, okay. So let's go do your two deep breaths and call it a day. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth, practice gratitude, and I want you to set your intentions for the rest of the day, for this weekend, for this month. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, guys, I'm done. I'm so done. <sighs> done. Okay. We're breathing in through our nose. Did I shave? I think so. Out there. Look at my, look at my shirt. Or all the sweat. Okay, focus. One more. Yeah. 
Hope you feel good. I hope you feel rested. We only did one stretch. Do you guys want to stretch a little more or is that okay? Um, I'm just going to do one more stretch because my legs are done. My legs are done. Done, done, done. We're just going to do the supine twist. So come onto your back, bring your legs over to the left, shoulder blades and back on the mat. We're going to stay here for a couple of seconds. If you guys have to go, I totally understand. Thank you so much for being here. It's been an amazing week. This workout was insane. Hold your ankle towards your chest. We're going to hold for 10. You'll feel that stretch through your calf and your hamstring. Then we're going to cross, okay? Four stretch. Open up those hips. And other side. It's so quiet in here. Cross. And then oh, supine twist this way. Oh my God. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you and I appreciate you so much. Um, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your likes. I appreciate you guys showing up for yourself. Um, I just appreciate you guys. And I want you to know that. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know, okay? Um, for sure. And Sabrina, thank you for your positivity. You're a great lady. Keep being you. You rock. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Sabrina, concrete or brown garden box? Oh, they come in different colors. Do you have pictures? I need to go to your page. I need to go see. Bye, Sabrina. Enjoy your weekend. Tell your sister I said hi. Hello, beautiful. Okay. Um, bye, Mom of Nan. I'll talk to you later. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic weekend. Remember, rest. Enjoy yourself. It's not that big of a deal. Um, obviously, I want you to make good choices, but say if you don't, we're not going to bring that negative energy on Monday with us and be like, oh, I feel so guilty I did this. this. No, we're going to forget it it's in the past and we're just going to make good choices going forward okay but that's not like a get out of jail free card to just go and blow it this weekend right um just like just enjoy yourself it's all about balance right like you can have what you want to have but just like don't overindulge right it's just about having that balance but if you're somebody like me and you know that like here's the thing and i'll just tell you something like i had to stop drinking pop because i couldn't just have one if i had it in my house I wanted another one and another one. And it was like, I just, I can't do this. So I know myself. It's like, I have to just not have it in my house. And so now I don't. Parties, birthdays, whatever. If you want pop, you can bring it yourself. Cause I'm not, it's not gonna be at my house. I think for some birthday, I think birthdays we were doing it. And I'm not gonna do that. If you're just gonna have to have like my healthy juice boxes and like my flavored water. And if you don't like that, then you can go home. <laughs> because like I think one time I don't know who it was they're like can you just at least have some soda when you're having a pop no I can't so you can be BYOB bring your own not beer bring your own S bring your own soda bring your own pop it would be BYOP bring your own pop so if you ever come to my house bring your own soda because it ain't going to be here okay so that's all I have for you <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, you guys. So no soda at all? For me, I don't. I don't. Because my, like, I just, get, like, it's like an addicted, it, like, it's like, I can't just have one. And, like, and also, too, I know <sighs> soda's not, oh, my gosh. That one wasn't as bad, that freeze. Um. Let's be honest, sugars and everything and liquid calories are the worst. Why? Because you consume them so fast, you could consume a thousand calories like that and not even know it. So you, it's just about educating yourself about it, right? And knowing like what it's doing to your body and what ingredients are in it. And for me, that's a no for me. It's a no for me, dog. But for you, you make up your own decisions, you do whatever you wanna do, but um, for me, no, I don't do soda. And that's not to say I don't like it. That's not to say like if my husband gets one one time or something, I don't take a sip. Like, yeah, I'll do that. But for the most part, no, I just honestly, I don't like it anymore. I don't even like it anymore. I'm like, no, mm -mm. I just bring this everywhere I go. And if I get bored of water, then I just put lemon or cucumbers or well, it's good. This is like, 
it's fine for me. BYOD. Yeah, there you go. Bring your own drink because I ain't supplying it. We will have healthy juice boxes. Like, you're not going to find Capri Suns here at my house for my son's birthday. It's not happening. We're not doing Capri Suns. We're not doing Gatorades. I know. And you can say whatever you want about me. You can think whatever you want about me. And we're not having that. So, for his birthday, we had little healthy juice boxes. And then we had like flavored waters. I had like cute little snacks. They were all like organic and like healthy snacks. Um, and that's how I roll. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. And my son's starting baseball soon. And I was talking to my hairdresser. I was like, what kind of snacks do they give him? And she's like, girl, you're not going to like it. And I was like, it's trash, right? She's like, yeah, it's trash. Like Gatorade and goldfish and stupid shit. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to have to tell them he has an aller allergy problem and you can't give him those. <laughs> so I'm going to have to like do something. I don't, I don't care what you think about me for saying that. I don't care because, um, most food is trash and it has like, you just have to educate yourself and, and just read the ingredients. Right? So we will be supplying our own snacks for T-ball and yeah, you knew that was coming. Yeah, I know. And, and I just, I get so tired of hearing it from people like, like uh, why can't you just chill or not? Like, no, you raise your child the way you want to and don't tell me how to raise my son. So whatever, you know? Yeah, I'm that weird lady that brings her own snacks everywhere. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later because I'm rambling. Have a fantastic weekend. If you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Bring your own snacks. Bring your own snacks. That's what I do when we go to the, even when we go to like the theater. <sighs> when we go to the theater, I'll bring all my own healthy snacks and stuff. We used to, oh my gosh, my husband and I were so bad. We would bring like a box of wine to the theater and we just like drink our own wine. Like we were so bad. <laughs> it was so fun. But um, yeah, good snacks. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. This is so much fun. Maybe I'll pop on later on tonight when I'm at my sister's when I'm feeling a little frisky and like have a couple of drinks in me. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you for being here. Bye, Tracy. I love you.